Let's now look at how to manipulate objects in Blender. I would suggest for you to follow along with me in this video. Okay, so let's start with moving objects. How do we move an object? Well, the easiest way to do this is to select an object by just left clicking. Then we can go to Object, Transform, Move. And then we can move the object wherever we want and then click to put it into place. So I'll just hit Control Z for a second. Another way to move an object is to use one of these gimbals over here. So to move the object, I just hit Move, which we can see when we hover over. And we can click and drag on one of these axes here to move it in that direction. So the red means the X axis as denoted by this. Y is the green axis and Z is the um, blue axis. The Z axis typically denotes the height, so up and down. X axis typically denotes the um, uh, side to side and um, Y axis typically denotes front and back. So if I go ahead and click and drag on this blue arrow over here, I can move it up and down wherever I want, but that's all I can go. I can only go up and down. I can't go side to side. If I want to go side to side, I can click and drag this red arrow over here and then place it wherever I want. And then if I want to go front and back, just click and drag on this green arrow and move it wherever I want. This can be done for any object. As you can see over here. Now you might notice that there's these little um, squares over here. What this means is that it would um, move it to every axis except the one that's colored, so the blue. So if I click on this blue, it will move on all axes except the Z axis. So I'm moving side to side, front and back, but not up and down. Likewise, if I click on this, uh, uh, this red box over here, I'll move on both the Z and the Y axis, but not the X axis. See, it's not going side to side. And finally, if I click on this green box, it will not go front and back, but it will go on the Z axis and the X axis. So we're only locked to those axes. Um, and ultimately, if we click on around this circle over here, we will just, it'll just freeform. So it'll just move wherever you put your mouse. All right. Um, I typically use shortcut keys. So the shortcut key that I use is G, which we can confirm by hovering over this move. And we can see uh, the shortcut just underneath saying shift spacebar or G. I generally don't use shift spacebar because it opens some other widget, but um, I just press G. So that's, that's the second shortcut key that you can see over there. So G, and you can move it wherever you want. So if you want to constrain to the axis like this, you can hit, you can go G and straight away hit X to constrain it to the X axis, or G, Y to constrain it to the Y axis, or G, Z to constrain it to the Z axis. Note that once you hit G, you can change between X, Y, Z, and you don't have to keep hitting G every single time. Likewise, if you want to control which of the axes you don't want to move it along, you hit G and then Shift, let's say Shift Z, to move it on all axes except the Z one. Or G, Shift X, or Shift Y. Okay. So that's the move. Let's now move on to rotate. To rotate an object, I can press this one or hit the R key. So if I click on this widget, I can rotate on the Y axis, on the X axis, and on the Z axis. I can also do R, X to rotate on the X axis, R, Y, and R, Z. Next, scale. So scale, we can use the shortcut key S, or we can use these widgets to scale on the x-axis, the y-axis, the z-axis, or just overall, on all axes. Or you can click on these ones to control which axes you don't want to scale it on. So I don't want to scale on the z-axis, I don't want to scale it on the y, I don't want to scale on the x. Uh, so likewise, the same with the shortcut key. So S, X to scale on the x, S, Y to scale on the Y, S, Z to scale on the Z, or you can do S, Shift, Z to not scale on the Z, Shift, Y to not scale on the Y axis, and Shift, X to not scale on the X axis. Alright, so those are the three main operations. Move, 
rotate and scale. Note that we also have transform over here. Um, that's just pretty much all the um, all three of these combined into one. So if you want to say move on the x-axis and also scale on the x-axis and then rotate on the x-axis as well, you can do all three using this one widget. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how to do object manipulation in Blender. Note that uh, some of these operations only apply to some types of objects. For example, for a light, you can't really scale it. It doesn't make sense. So you, know, you can't scale on the x-axis or y-axis either. That doesn't make sense. You can only rotate or move a light in this case. All right, to summarize, in order to move, rotate, or scale an object, first select an object by clicking it, then uh, either go to the menu, object, transform, and move, rotate, scale, or use one of these widgets or use the shortcut keys G to move, R to rotate, or S to scale. Do also note that you can also manipulate the object in the properties. So in the properties editor, you, you have these values for location, rotation, and scale with the X, Y, and Z. You can also manipulate them by clicking and dragging or entering in precise values uh, wherever you see fit. And it will do pretty much exactly the same thing like you did using these uh, the gimbals or the shortcut keys. I hope this video has been useful to you.